Hi UK Scrap Addicts, it's Kayleigh from createwithkayleigh.com. This month I'm on the UK Scrap Addicts channel, we are looking at all things paint. So I'm going to show you how to do a fun technique, I'm calling it the mermaid paint uh, technique, so kind of making this up a little bit, um, but I think it's really fun. So I'm going to be using some um, all-purpose uh, frost white paint. I've already done a test, so I'm just going to drop a little bit more here. Um, this is just a few, um, I'm doing like a little drop of the frosted white, and I'm just going to mix it with some ink, just to get the colours that I want. I'm going for um, what I call like unicorn-y colours, so that's just pink, blue and purple, and I'm just going to drop a draw one drop into the white and I'll give these a nice mix and then this is going to create my paint that I'm going to use for today's tutorial. So all I'm doing is using an aqua painter to mix these up and a baby wipe just to make sure the brush is nice and clean and not ridiculously wet. So to mix it literally just spin it round and I'm not actually worried about having a perfect mix, so there can be some a little bit um, an element of the white coming through still, because that's just still quite a nice pretty effect. So if you have lots of spare brushes, I recommend using them, just because it makes it easier for you, makes it a little bit quicker. But if you're like me, you've just got one to hand, then you just need to keep on cleaning them. So, clean it off. And to be honest, when we've, once we've mixed it all, we're going to be wanting just one brush anyway. So now I have all of my colours mixed. I am going to take my uh, my base layer. So I want my paint. This, um, this is going to be a smaller album. So I've just got a 6x8 uh, piece of cardstock here. And I am just going to put a little bit of water um, on the base, on the... Um, the baggie, just so that I've got a point just to grab some water up quick. So, first of all I'm just going to start by doing just more of a gentle wash across the page in um, my predominant colour which I want to be pink. And then what I'm going to do is now I've got kind of a wacky wash, is put the pink on my brush and then a little bit of blue and just start to pull those different colours in. And then this time I'm going to give a bit of blue and a little bit of purple. And as I go along, I'm just going to tilt the brush so the different colours are just going to start to come through. And if you just twirl your paintbrush as you're going, you kind of get this different colour start to pull through. As such. So you might just want to say, okay, I just want a little bit of just blue now, so I'm just going to go ahead and take that one colour. And then you just slowly spin the brush around and your other colours start to come through just that little bit more. Now you do need to be careful with your colour choices because you do want colours that don't necessarily mix very well. Um, that, like these colours kind of don't end up looking brown. Whereas sometimes you mix a few different colours and all you're going to get, no matter what, is a brown colour. But these colours kind of change quite nicely into each other. And it's important to remember when you're doing things like this, that this is a background. So it can look a little bit messy, but it's not going to be how it finishes because we are going to layer up and embellish on this. And I think you actually get some like quite quite nice, sorry, quite nice mixes. I don't know if you can tell, but I am absolutely full of cold. I've been putting off filming this video so that I didn't sound so sniffly, but it it hasn't it hasn't happened. And I think because you're using shimmer paint as the base, you actually do get a really nice shimmery, unicorny, fair um fairy magical effect here. If you can see that shine. So I'm just dragging this through and pulling out the different colours. 
So it's quite simple but it's a fun way to play with paint. This is also something that's really fun if you're scrapbooking with kids because it's nice and messy so they'll enjoy it. And I'm, now I'm just going to jumble these up a little bit. And get a whole host of different colours. So what you need to do now is just let that dry. And it might not look particularly amazing at the moment. But that is just because it needs to, to dry. And this is just the background that we're using. This is not going to be the whole effect of the page. So give it a chance, let it dry, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so now my background is dry, we're just gonna do the next step. So what I've done now is I've got the um, the plastic where the paint remains are on, and I've just gone and got a stamp, and what I'm gonna do is just pick up the excess paint. So I'm just pressing it randomly in the paint that I've got left. Take a look, if I can see that it's all kind of covered, I'm just gonna stamp it down and there we've got um, the excess paint to kind of get this effect. Now you'll notice that I didn't have a block that did the whole uh, stamp. I only wanted the tail downwards, so I just grabbed what was nearest to me. Now all I've done then is I've got to cut it out, the one that I did earlier, because this needs a few minutes to dry, maybe like 10-15 minutes to make sure it is dry. Oh, and I've managed to get paint everywhere, so let's just get rid of that. So now I've got my background um, and embellishment, I've just gone ahead and taken the photo that I wanted to scrap and this is um, just some dolphins, some wild dolphins that we saw on a, um, a boat trip when I was abroad so I just wanted to treasure that and I've gone ahead and cut out some, punched out some circles and these are just going to create my background and what I want to do is just have these going across the sides of the page kind of mimicking what a like mermaid's tail would kind of be. I'm just going to lay these randomly going down the page and once I'm happy with the layout I'll go around and once I've stuck them down I'll just take off any excess. So there we go, relatively happy with that, just stick them down. Okay, so that is the um, kind of simple part of the uh, layout done. So I've gone and done the background, done some embellishments on top, and then I'm just going to grab a pen and do some journaling. I don't want an awful lot on here, so I'm literally just going to go around the outside corners and write a few sentences. Okay, so that's the journaling done, and the last thing that I want to do is I've just got some sequins, the teeny tiny sequins, so I just want to pull them off and I'm just going to stick them all over the page. So I just want to get a handful off, and sometimes these come off so easily, and other times it's just a bit of a mare. So I'm just pulling them gently off the string that they come on, and all I'll do to stick these down is just put a teeny dab of glue where I want them and then simply pick up the sequin and pop it down where the glue is. Okay, so that is the sequins done. So hopefully this is catching the shine of this image. And what I really wanted is the, the paints to kind of shimmer, right? To have the different tones um, of the paints so they're, with them, they're kind of blending together, but in a kind of majestic, mermaidy kind of effect. Um, and then the sequins to just kind of highlight the shimmery, shiny 
effect of the tail. So I hope you have fun with your paints. I think when it comes to artistic things like painting um, or when you mix in inks, etc., it's it's always fun to just have a play and see what happens and to see what effects you can create. So I hope this inspires you to do so. We'd really love to see your versions over on the Scrap Addict Facebook page. Um, it really does mean a lot when you share, so please do. And well, I'll see you back next month. So I hope you have a great time crafting and see you soon.